Okay, so we are going to make a black and white image and um, selectively colorize one component of the photograph. To do this, go to File, select Open, and open the file you would like to colorize. The next thing you will need to do is to go to the top Layers window. So go to Windows and select Dockable Dialogs and Layers. This will open up a Layers window which you can move off to the side of your image. And the next thing you need to do is to create a transparent layer which we are going to use in a few minutes. So there's a little white rectangle down here and if you click that and you select transparency and click OK and you will see the new layer appear above the uh, background layer. Select the background layer and then go to image on the top tab and select uh, duplicate and this will create a duplicate image um, which we are going to desaturate. So go to colors, select desaturate and you can choose any of the options. There's lightness and luminosity or the average of the two. Doesn't really matter for this. Um, and the next thing you're going to do is to click edit and then copy. And then after this point we will no longer need the black and white image so you can move it out of the way and click on the original colored background image. Select the new layer and go to edit and paste the black and white image into the new layer. You will see that this obscures the color image and that is absolutely fine. The next thing you need to do is to anchor the layer and there's a little anchor icon. Click that and that secures the layer to the transparency. And then to colorize one area of the image it is very very simple. Over in the toolbox we are going to select the eraser tool and you can scale the eraser to make it bigger or smaller. So we're going to scale this up a bit. So to color in the little boy's hat we would simply erase the area of the image that we want color to appear in. And if you happen to go over the uh, lines, don't worry, that's easy to take care of. Uh, we'll finish coloring in the hat here. And you can see I've gone over a little bit. So we accidentally color in an area that we don't want to be colored. Simply go over to the toolbox and at the bottom of the toolbox there is a, a tab that says anti-erase. Select that and then erase the extra color that you did not want in the image. And that is how you selectively colorize a black and white image. It is very simple to do. The next thing you need to do is to simply go to File and Save As and name the file. Click Save. GIMP will prompt you to export the image, which is not a problem. Um, adjust the quality index to 100%. Click Save. And that is it. You have colorized an image with GIMP.